My prep to go to office always starts a day before. I like to take lunch box from home most of the time so I cook something the night before. Today I decided to make Indian style chicken rice and that is exactly what's cooking. Another thing that I have to do before going to office is straighten this curly hair and look a little presentable and that is exactly what we're gonna do now. I always like to watch something while I straighten my hair because it's a good 30 minutes task. So I usually put on a movie or a TV show or a random YouTube vlog as well. I'm currently watching Gilmore Girls and I'm absolutely loving the show and I'm almost obsessed with it. Now that the chicken rice is ready, I'm just gonna fill up my lunch box and keep it all ready for tomorrow. Let me know what's your favorite thing to eat for lunch, especially when you have to go to work. I would love some ideas. Good morning everyone. The first thing I do after waking up is check outside because the weather here in Canada, especially Toronto, is unpredictable so I always like to be prepared. Looks like it's cold and snowed a little last night so I gotta get my winter clothing on and just like that I am ready and I'm on my way to the office. It's a pretty cold day, it's about minus 2 degrees Celsius and feels like minus 8 degrees Celsius. If you've not guessed already, then I use public transport to go to work because I feel like that's the most easiest way to travel to work. Anyways, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for my train. Is it just me or do you like blowing out smoke as well when it's cold? Anyways, I always put on my earphones as soon as I get out of my house and I like to listen to either music or podcasts till I reach my office. My train is here. I'm just gonna get a seat and uh, yeah, continue listening to music. I love getting a window seat because the view is just so, so pretty. I do after getting to office is getting myself some coffee today's coffee of choice is vanilla cappuccino I really love that at office this is one of my guilty pleasures I then take my coffee to my desk and write down my to-do list which I feel is really really important for me to get through the day and then I clear out my emails. I need to get this done before my first scrum call of the day. Then begins a series of calls. I have three scrum plus update calls in the morning back to back where we basically discuss what each member of the project is up to and we plan out our work for the day and identify if there are any obstacles that might impact work. Thanks for all the love on my business analyst videos. Many of you all had questions, so I thought I'll answer a few here. Let's start off with the actual role of a business analyst. They are people who solve problems or suggest solutions to stakeholders. Our aim is to make our stakeholders' lives easier by providing technological solutions from our user story requirements. Another way to view the role of a business analyst is basically the person is a bridge between people who speak business language, for example, stakeholders and people who speak technical language, for example, developers. We are also responsible for business requirements, elicitation, documentation and management, technical documentation, production and management, for example, process modeling, test scripts and solution document creation is also one of our key responsibilities. Coming back to my day, I went ahead and did some of my tasks which included creating an agile test summary report. It represents a record of test execution. It provides stakeholders with like a condensed account of overall test results, defects and connected data following a project. 
Then it was time for lunch. I forgot to record clips from lunch, but I got a strawberry matcha from Starbucks, which is like their new drink. I was super excited to try it, so had to get one. And then went back to desk again. This is my beverage number two of the day. Back to where we left off, I was able to complete the documentation, and now I am here updating a few user stories with SQL queries for developers to pick it up. Basically, the project that I'm on requires me to convert queries connected. to one database into another as the project demands implementation of a new database system let's answer another question that i get asked a lot what does it take to become a business analyst i would definitely say previous experience matters plus a degree in it or computer science also they would require you to know what exactly is requirements gathering and a little bit about testing it also helps to have knowledge and experience in using data visualizing tools and techniques being able to write sql queries is also a big bonus and if you have good communication skills it's always a plus i hope that answered most of your questions coming back to my day for the rest of my afternoon i had a few scheduled calls one was with a ba from another project our projects are interrelated so i had a few questions to ask and gain more clarity my next one was with stakeholders it was a presentation showing them and seeking feedback for a couple of screens that we had developed post that i had to connect with the developers in the project and explain them the requirements from the earlier business call and also i had to clear some of their doubts regarding the user stories that i had written so i couldn't film a lot of stuff during the office hours but just like that the day is done and it's now time to go home While I was walking back to the train station I realized how much I love my job because as a business analyst the work that I do directly impacts my organization plus I get to communicate and collaborate with people from different departments and I feel like it's never a dull day